I'm with Jamie Marshall of Zone Graphics um, uh, in Kent in the UK. Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about your company and yourself, the products that you produce? Yeah, uh, well, hello there. Um, basically, we, uh, I've, I've got a lithographic background in the first place. Um, started in the trade at 16 years of age in Tunbridge Wells and did an apprenticeship there. Worked for various printers and trade houses and, you know, gathered a lot of experience along the way with them. Um, our company started uh, 28 years ago now, and uh, we originally just got involved with uh, final film and lifo plates and that sort of thing for the trades in general. Um, as things moved on, we've obviously got involved with image setters and plate setters and all of that and, and got involved with a lot of other stuff with, with repro and, and uh, pre-press along the way. Um, eventually, we got involved with lifo printing itself and... Um, all other forms of printing until probably uh, what I'd say about 15 years ago, we, we bought our first digital press and things changed pretty much from that point on. Um, yeah, we carried on for a couple of years and then basically, you know, probably five years ago or so, we completely ditched life altogether and moved on to, to digital printing and probably more importantly, all the finishing aspects that go along with it. So what, what type of products do you uh, produce now? Well, we, we generally get involved, as you can imagine, as a digital printer, we, we get involved with just about everything, you know, they're, they're pretty versatile presses, aren't they? So, um, but um, we do a mixture of, we, we tend to try and get involved with, with the sort of high end work now. Uh, we've, got, we've got an Indigo press and we've got a Rico. So we tend to produce like a higher quality job on the indigo and we end up um, sort of foil blocking, embossing, all of this sort of thing, embellishing a lot of the products we print to, to try and get more value out of them. We do a lot of book printing, um, a raft of other bits and pieces along the way, you know, everything in between. On the Rico, we tend to do a lot of flyers and, well, everything you do, but maybe... Uh, in, in that respect. So the general commercial mix. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. And then you uh, came across Valiani. Tell me, how did you sort of find out about the um, cutting tables from Valiani? Well, we, uh, we've already bought, uh, we've had a fair bit of Morgana kit along the way. And um, obviously Morgana put us in contact or we, we've, we met up with um, the Valiani at a, a trade show that Morgana put on at Brands Hatch. And they have one of the Valiani cutting tables there, which we viewed. I've been interested for some time. It was really a, cost, a question of cost, really, and size. We haven't got a lot of room here. We didn't want some massive thing which took up the whole area. It had to go on a mezzanine as well. So the, the Valiani, with its the sort of weight of it compared to others, was fantastic. And the, and the actual cost of it was right. So uh, I think we actually we, we bought the machine about three months after the... Uh, the actual trade show. Okay, so and that's the Optima, yeah. That's a V80 Optima, yes. Yeah. So um, we bought that's got a, a sort of a, a sheet size, max sheet size of twelve hundred by eight hundred, I believe. Uh, and the one the Optima we bought had two heads at the time, uh, just a just a cut in head and a and a crease in head with with perforation and that sort of thing. What makes it useful for you? Um, uh, is it the quality of the build, the quality of the um, output the cut the creasing yeah i mean it's 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 obviously it's versatility i mean um we have got a platen here we do a lot of die cutting foiling and everything and that yeah. that was the most versatile machine in the business but but now the valiani has pretty much taken over from that i think you know obviously every job that comes in we look at it and we sort of think okay what's the run but also how complex is the die and then we weigh up the length of time it's going to take to cut it on the valiani and if it turns out it works out well. We don't even get a die made. We just do it on the valley on it. So time to market, speed to market, fast turnaround, which seems to be the mantra for every print company in the world today, is uh, that, that that's uh, one of the useful things. Yeah, indeed. And I mean, one of, I suppose, the most useful thing about it is, although it's relatively easy to set the files up for it, we've got three minders on the presses. They're very used to handling files. They always set the files up. But after that point, anyone in the company, there's only 10 of us anyway, but basically everyone can get on and actually use the machine once the files have been set up for us. So it does mean that, say, for instance, uh, the actual platen is busy or the guy's on holiday and there's only one guy that operates our platen. We can then just move those jobs over onto the Valiani. And, and sometimes, you know, we've got a job that literally can't be done on the platen. Could be through size, uh, could be through complexity of the die, 
whatever, the thickness of the material, we can cut up to 20 millimeters thick. And obviously we can kiss cut very, very thin self-adhesive material with it as well. Okay, so for labels and stickers and things? We do a lot of labels and stickers, yeah. I mean, I've, I've actually written down some notes here, but whether we've got time to talk about all of them, but the, the first label job we got in after having the machine about three months was around about 250,000 labels for a very prestigious um, retailer in London. And uh, it took us two weeks to do it, but it actually paid for over half of the machine in, in two weeks. In one job? In one job within three months of buying it. <laughs> That's a nice going. That's a nice going. I hope you can get a few more of those. Indeed. Uh, do you think the um, machine is particularly suited to the UK market, the British market at the moment? It certainly is. I mean, it's certainly suited to our market. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone else, but um, if it's versatility, um, if it's keeping costs down and it's it's managing to, to, to actually, what I would say in a lot of cases is in, uh, when, when you've got a number of guys on shifts, and you, you're looking to fill in gaps in shifts and someone's got half an hour here whilst they're waiting for another job to come by, they can always move over and use the Valiani, which makes it fantastic as far as, uh, you know, utilising our staff and their time. Jamie, that's great. Thank you so much indeed for your time. No problem at all.